Hey guys, welcome back to the dev channel, Max Codes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to integrate 3D Touch Peek and Pop into your iOS apps. Now, this is actually a super, super simple process and uh, you'll be surprised at how easy it is. Okay, now real quick before we start, I did write a Medium article on this very video. So if you prefer a written format of tutorials, that's in the description below. I personally prefer watching videos, but that's just me. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and start writing some code. See you in a second. All right, so let's get started, okay? Here's my Medium article on the right, and here's my actual iPhone plugged in, because you have to have an actual device to do this. I couldn't figure out how to use uh, 3D Touch in the simulator. If you know of a way, leave a comment, because like I couldn't figure it out, and that makes you a god. All right, so basically, this is the app. All right, I opened it, it's just blank, and then when you force touch, that appears, okay? And then when you go all the way, it opens it up like a view controller in our navigation controller, okay? So very simple stuff. Um, it seems like it would be way complicated, but it's actually not. So I'm just gonna minimize that and pull this to the side, and then I'm gonna create a new Xcode project, all right? And then I'm gonna choose single view app, and I'm just gonna call this uh, peak and pop, okay? So go ahead and create a project and uh, go to my Medium article because that has the uh, entire project basically written and we're gonna go through it as we build this project. That's how I do some of my videos and it's how I think I'm gonna do all my videos from here on out. Let me know if you like that. All right. So let's go ahead and go in our view to load and what we're gonna have to do is actually set this up from our app delegate. So let's go in our app delegate and delete this. And let's do what we're doing here, okay? I'm gonna use app delegate because I don't like using storyboards, okay? So we're gonna say let nav controller is equal to UI navigation controller. Nav controller dot view controllers is equal to an array of just one view controller. And that view controller is gonna be our view controller dot swift class, okay? Next thing we need to do is initialize our window. So we'll say window is equal to UI window. And this has nothing to do with force touch yet. This is just how to set up your project really without storyboards. So just copy this in, don't really worry about it unless you're interested. Then I would suggest watching my videos on this, okay? Okay, so now we can start. Let's go ahead and compile our application and see what it looks like. I'm gonna pull up my iPhone right here. And it's basically just gonna open up a black view controller, basically, with within a white navigation bar. Is yeah, okay. So basically what we need to do is we need to go to our view controller.swift now and say view.background color is equal to dot white. Compile your application and you should just see a white view controller in a navigation controller stack. So that's how we set it up. Now we need to kind of think about the uh, peek, and, peek and pop, right? If you go to the Apple developer documentation that's linked in my Medium article, we basically have to go down to peek and, peek and pop and code since we're not using storyboards because they're nasty. And basically what we need to do is we need to register the view within our view controller that we are gonna pop the uh, other view controller from, okay? So basically, I'll explain that a little bit more later on, but basically what we're gonna do is we're going to register the view and then get everything working first, okay? So let's say if trait collection dot force touch capability is equal to UI force touch capability dot available, then we'll run some code, okay? Basically, all we're doing here is we're saying if the device has force touch, then we're going to run this code, okay? Because some iPhones don't have force touch. So we'll say register for previewing, and you can see it says registers a view controller to participate with 3D touch peek and commit pop. Okay, so I would imagine, I haven't tested this yet, but I would imagine if you ran that on a device that didn't have force touch, it would probably crash. Okay, so we need to conform to the UI view controller pre previewing delegate protocol, which we will, um, what's the word? We will adopt in our view controller class here. So let's say self, and then for source view, we'll just use the view of our view controller. So basically, the, all this source view is, is it's saying, okay, we're gonna pop a new view controller from this view, okay? It's essentially what it's saying. You'll also get this, and if you hit fix, it'll do that. We don't wanna do that. 
we want to actually go up here and we put a comma after view controller and say UI view controller previewing delegate. Let's see what it says. It says a set of methods used by the delegate to respond with a preview, con preview view controller and a commit view controller to use to the user pressing a view object on the screen of a device that supports 3D touch. Okay, so we're going to implement some methods that's basically going to show us the preview when we kind of force touch down a bit and then the actual view controller that it's going to show when we push all the way. Okay. It's going to ask you to um, fix it, it, fix it by adding in the protocol stubs of the required methods. Okay. So that's what step three is here in the article. All right. So let's go ahead and hit fix or type those out. Okay. You sh all you should have to do is say previewing context and the methods should appear. Okay, so before we write that code, let's create a view controller to present or else it's not really going to work. Let's say down here on line 36, let's say class and we'll say view controller two, and we'll say UI view controller. And then we will implement our view did load as always. And then we'll just say view dot background color is white or whatever color you want. Let's try yellow just so we can kind of see it. Okay, so that's our view controller. So just a little bit more code and then we can compile it. We'll put in the image last, okay? So prevent present the view controller using the protocol methods we just implemented a second ago. So all we really have to do is say previewing context dot source rect, the rectangle in the source view co coordinate system that responds to a 3D touch. So basically where it's coming from on the screen. If we wanted it to go in the top left, we would just like do a source rect with a CG point of zero, zero. And then we're just going to say view.frame because we want it to come straight from the center of our view. And then all we have to do is we have to, I'm just reading the method. All right. All we have to do is return the view controller we want to uh, go. So we're just going to return an instance of view controller two. Okay. Now the second one, we're going to, well, th that's for the preview. Okay. Now for the second one, we're going to actually return the view controller and display it on our screen when we touch, force touch all the way. So we'll say let VC is equal to view controller two. And then we'll just say navigation controller, since that's what we use in the app delegate dot push view controller. And then we'll just put the VC in there and then we'll say animated is true. Okay. Now basically all this is doing is it's taking our navigation controller that's in our app delegate and it's pushing the view controller two onto it as the current view controller. Okay. That's why we set up, set it up the way we did in app delegate. Okay. So that's all we should need. Let's go ahead and compile our application and see what it looks like. And then let's add in that image. All right. So I just named that image while that's compiling, drag in an image. If you want, I'm going to use this one of Kanye cause I think it's funny. And then let's look at our app cause it's compiled. Okay. You can see when we force touch, we see that yellow view controller. Okay. And then if we click all the way, it does that. So we're basically done. If you don't want to put in the image, then don't worry about it. But for those of you who want to put in the image, let's just go ahead and go to our view controller two here and let's add it in. Okay. Let's say let image is equal to UI image. Let's say let Kanye. That's what I did in the article is equal to UI image view. And then we'll have it taken an image UI image named. I love it. Okay. Next thing we'll do is we'll say Kanye dot, and then we'll just say ch -ch -ch -ch, translates auto resizing mask inner constraints is equal to false. We can use auto layout constraints with code. And we'll say Kanye dot content mode is equal to dot scale aspect fit. And then we'll put some constraints on after we throw it on our view. So we'll say view dot add sub view Kanye. And then we'll say Kanye dot width anchor dot constraint is equal to constant. And we'll just say view dot frame dot width minus 40 dot is active is true. Kanye dot height anchor. And if I'm going too fast, just watch me type it out and then pause it and then type it in dot constraint is equal to, we'll say constant. We'll just say view dot frame dot width divided by three dot is active is true. And then we'll say Kanye dot center y anchor dot constraint is equal to center y anchor mm. center y anchor dot constraint is equal to center okay view dot center y anchor the 
dot is active is true. And then just take that last one, the center y anchor one, and copy it. And then just replace the y with an x on these two instances there. Okay. So go ahead and compile your application, and then let's wait for it to load up. All right, so it's compiling. And then now we have our application, and when we push down, we see Kanye, all right? It's kind of funny. All right, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please go to my Medium article and just leave a clap. I really need some support on this platform, or I don't need it, but like I'd like your support on these platforms so that I can keep uh, bringing you content like this since it takes so much time. But I like doing it. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in future videos. Drop a like and a comment. See you later.